Born in January 9, 1909 in Carrickcastle, County Mayo, Ireland, Patrick was the sixth of nine children of John and Mary Payton. The family was poor, making a meager living on their small farm, but they were rich in faith. In my father's village, where I spent most of the 19 years of my growing, I came very, very close to God. Every night I would hear my mother call us to pray, and then my father would lead us in the Holy Rosary. Praying to God was as natural to him as breathing the air. And to see a man who lived totally what he believed left an impression on me, even as a little child, that nothing could erase. On Sundays, the roads, like the spokes of a wheel reaching to its hub, were dotted by small groupings of the parishioners walking the winding roads to the chapel at the foothills of the mountain. Poverty sometimes forced the family to go to bed hungry. Poverty, too, sent the older children to the United States to find work and send money back home. In 1928, 19-year-old Patrick and his older brother, Thomas, went to Scranton, Pennsylvania. Tom found work in the coal mines. Pat became a janitor in St. Joseph's Cathedral. Pat's strong attraction to the priesthood began in Ireland, but he had neither the money nor the education needed to enter the seminary. The opportunity came in America when Pat encountered the Congregation of Holy Cross as a group of their priests preached a mission at St. Joseph's. In the fall of 1929, together with Tom, Pat entered the Holy Cross Seminary at Notre Dame, Indiana. 